Hello! Today we're starting a new chapter, Chapter 5, The Math Club. That's what MC stands for. And I'm going to work problem MC9, which is part of your practice for tonight. This will also uh, remind you about how to fill in these tables, just like we did in the silent board game in earlier chapters, and also a review of how to make a complete graph and to graph an equation, which we'll be doing a lot of this chapter. So here we go. MC9 first says complete the table and graph the equation. Here's our equation. Y equals 2 times X plus 5. So the way these tables work is you take the number on top, which is the X value, substitute it into the equation, and then solve for Y. Here's how it works. Y equals 2 times 0 plus 5. As you can see, I took the original equation. Instead of the x, I put the 0. Draw some arrows there to show you what happened. Substitution is what that's called to get the solution. 2 times 0. In other words, if I have something called 0 and there's two of them, well, then that equals 2, or 0, plus 5. So my y value is 5. So I go up to the table, and I put it in there. Okay, let's show our work and do another one. Once you get the hang of this, you can do a lot of these using your mental math skills. Using the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7. In it goes. I think I have room to squeeze one more over here. 2 times 2 plus 5. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 is 9. Now let's take a moment and look at our table here. There's a pattern happening. Do you see this pattern? As each x value goes up by 1, the y value goes up by 2. Now it's great to show your work, and in fact, I want you to be able to explain how you do this to another student and to yourself. That's how you know if you actually can do this skill. But another thing that's even more important, you could argue, is that your ability to recognize a pattern happening in a table, this will help you fill it out more quickly. Let me turn that down. You don't need to hear those. Okay, so I know that if I'm going up by 2 for each x value of 1, it makes sense that if I'm going up 1 here to get from 2 to 3, my y value should go up from 9 to 11, right? I'm going up by 2 every time. Now be careful because as you know, tables don't always follow the pattern. See, I'm going up by 1 and then it jumps down into negatives. I'm going to uh, go ahead and show the work for a couple of these negative problems. For a lot of you, that's where your answers change and we have some issues. And definitely this pattern does not continue because from 3 to negative 1 isn't going to be the same pattern. So let's substitute. y equals 2 times negative 1 plus 5. That means I have, remember those algebra tiles, the pluses and the minuses, the positives and negatives? Well, if I have a negative 1 and then I have two of them, well, it looks like an equal sign, but what I really end up with is two negatives, right? plus 5 gives me a positive 3. Once again, if you remember, we have 2 negatives and 5 positives. This is a neutral field, which means it equals 0. Draw the 0 around it, and what I have left is the answer. Okay. So in case you forgot how to work with negative and positive integers coming up, with a sum that is adding two or more of them. That's one way to do it. You can draw these on your paper anytime you want. All right. So for the negative one, I have a value of positive three. Let's go over here for my negative two. I'm running out of room. Two times negative two plus five. That's negative four plus five. If I want to draw that picture out, I have one, two, three, four negatives. And I have one, two, three, four, five positives. There's my neutral field, and what I have left is the answer, one. Okay, 
Let's go up here, since I'm out of room on the paper, this will force me to find a pattern. Here's the pattern. As my negative numbers increase, they go away from zero, right? Negative one, then negative two goes further away from zero, negative three goes further away from zero. I see a pattern of two happening here, but what's happening with the positives? They're getting smaller, right? From three to one, and then if I continue two more in the opposite direction, I would get negative one. And just in case I wasn't sure about that, let's squeeze in some work over here. Y equals two times negative three plus five. Whew, barely fits. That makes negative six plus five, which is negative one. That's called a proof. We'll learn that more later this chapter, but it proves that what I thought was correct. So while it's great to use mental math to complete a table and recognize a pattern, it's also good to know how to check your work and make sure you're right to prove your answer. Hopefully that helps you with this review of how to fill in an XY table. Next video will be how to graph this problem. Stay tuned.